Guys, I believe we are recording a new episode of Dynamic Banter. You bet. I bet you have your purse unzipped and ready for inspection. You better have that purse emptied of contraband. You're going to use that forced air. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird thing. What a weird thing. It's weird. Yeah. I hope you boys are buckled up. <laughs> Because this ride's about to go up to 35 miles per hour. Fast. That's fast. We're going zero to 35 quicker than you'd expect. <laughs> We're going zero to 35 in about 3.7 seconds. <laughs> you better buckle up. What? And I hope you don't have stomach aches. <laughs> what a like what an insanely honest description of the podcast. <laughs> Is it maybe the first episode of this podcast? Let's cut to a clip. <laughs> Let's cut to the entire podcast. Let's so play the know, whole so podcast. <laughs> let's play the instead of this new one. Let's play the first one we ever did as like a best of. Yeah, as a sound. Today what if we had a soundboard? <laughs> And you hit a button and the whole first podcast starts. <laughs> <It's> the... <laughs> Someone loaded up a, a 120 minute long clip into one button. <laughs> Real quick, comes and whispers in his ear before the show starts. Okay, we're on in five, four. Okay, Which I button got... is my f- clip from the first episode? No, I got, I got the whole thing in one. Okay, and Three, I'm sorry, what? Two... <laughs> That's what you asked for. One, go! <laughs> okay, everybody. Welcome to the show. Buckle up. We're going 1 to 35 <laughs> at a reasonable pace. <laughs> I don't doubt that somebody could explain to me how a magnet works, and I could still not get There's it and think it's magic. There's a whole insane uh, <clears throat> maniac clown posse song about it. There is, <laughs> there is, and I'm sure that's exactly what the band name is. Insane murderous clown posse <laughs> the, uh, dot com. The ravenous, those angry clowns. There's in a that there's a, a group of angry clowns. <laughs> they sing about of, songs. Can we start a band <laughs> called the Group of Angry Clowns. <laughs> yeah, and not like not like murderous clowns, just clowns angry. that are like that maybe got stiffed on the last circus yeah. check or someone like. Cut them off real bad on the freeway <laughs> yeah, before the, they got to the show. We're in the same car. Yeah. And somebody almost rear-ended us, and we're like, come on. Yeah. Why would you just back off a little bit? Yeah. Just two angry clowns. Mm-hmm. You do know that the Aerosmith ride goes too fast Because in the of magnets, specifically. Okay. Yeah. Do you think, do you feel confident in your assessment of it being a magnetized propulsion system? I think so. Why are you gonna fact check? I do have the internet open in front of me. Shh, I and just I got don't bit want to get dog since I got locked off. You don't want to what? I don't want to be one of those YouTubers who just throws magnets into conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that must be magnets. I don't want to be that guy. Is what I'm saying. I don't want to show up to playlist live and have people be like, "That's the magnet guy." <laughs> Do you think that's possible? I don't want to be at VidCon, right? Yeah. Lucky enough to meet... Video convention. Right? You meet all these people? Yeah. And behind your back, they're like, that's Magnet Guy? (laughs) Oh, shit. There's Magnet Guy. That guy, he doesn't understand that, so he just assumes that magnets are involved? I don't want to be that guy. I understand that, but I don't think that's going to happen if you say one thing about magnets. What if that I, might not be true? What if I land a TV series where I'm a superhero called Magnet Guy? The loading area is designed to resemble the alley behind the recording studio. Here we go. There is a chain link fence, dim street lights, and a super stretch limo. The this ro- was the original version of that Journey song. <laughs> <laughs> dim lights, chain link fence. <laughs> Getting that funny feeling. Hey, Steve, I think these lyrics are a little <laughs> bit basic. You think so? Maybe get a little more metaphorical. Sherman, go! 
<laughs> <laughs> That's a couple years later, Steve. That's all. Yeah, you're not ready for that one. So we're still workshopping it. <laughs> Guest load into the limo and prepare for launch. Lunch. Launch. Launch. I think it is. <laughs> you are served lunch before the ride starts. <laughs> <laughs> And you've got to eat a whole ham or vegetarian <laughs> sandwich. They hand you a ham. They put <laughs> and it on like, your lap. What if you had to eat before that ride started? Would there <laughs> be a lot of, of vomit? Yeah, the uh, the line is a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> and you, yeah. And you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to dig into some fucking uh, biscuits and gravy. I'll have two hot dogs. What is it, 2 p.m.? Yeah, I'm going to fucking put some macaroni is in my... Is this part of the ride? We could just have this? This is free. Is that what it is? Dude, Mike, I don't know about you, but I'm going to put a little macaroni in my burger. Yeah, man. It's right there. I'm going to put pizza underneath these waffles. Oh, shit. I didn't see that they had chicky things. <laughs> they always kind of have chicky things. I was not really expecting chicky things. You fangs. see the mashed tapes? Oh, shisk. <laughs> <laughs> so you're There's going brisk. <laughs> Iced tea, baby. <laughs> I wish they had something else, though. I, I'm not a big IT person. <laughs> You're not a brisk baby. It's not um, a podcast in 1999. <laughs> so, oh, so we're not going to have a brisk I don't think there's a chance. I don't think brisk is knocking on the door. Are you sure about it? Don't know. I don't know for sure. Is there a guide we can look at or... <laughs> what a weird sentence. <laughs> What are you, dude, you burst in the brisk building. <laughs> hey, I demand a guy to look at. <laughs> I got some ideas. I said guide. Oh, I said guy. Is there a guy to look at? <laughs> like a in boss. The eyes? A boss you can look at. <laughs> Someone I can look at hey, to talk about it. We're interested in sponsorships. Let me look at you for a <laughs> second. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I wasn't sure which sponsors we had this week. Can I look at you really quick? <laughs> Let me get a look at you. It's like a friendly doctor. Yeah, let me take a look at you. <laughs> I like it. What if you had a friend that did that? Where you're like, anytime you saw me, he's like, what's up, man? Great to see you. Let me get a look at you. <laughs> yeah, it spins you around. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, dude, I saw you a week ago, man. Yeah, what are you getting a look, look at? at you. What are you looking at? Yeah, I turn around. You getting a look at what what I got going on? Yeah, lay down, pull your shirt off. Let me get a look at you. You're going there, huh? What's the purpose of seeing me shirtless right now? And then he tries to play it off like, what? You don't want to see a movie? <laughs> <laughs> I you thought know, we were going to hang I'm out. I'm just saying stuff. I thought Watch we were going to hang out. Let me get a look at you. Three blades for the razor. Yes. So that's three other trips to the store. You ain't gonna make. You're done. Stay home. Get in your bed. Count it towards your days where you're gonna be in bed. If you have a list going. <laughs> Should you have a running tally, add it to the list. <laughs> <laughs> you got a day coming up on your calendar <laughs> where you don't have to leave the house. Get ready and get ready to appreciate it. <laughs> With Harry's razors. When you're a kid and everybody likes you because you run, do boy things. It's nice to see a boy run. Yeah. <laughs> Means it's working. Means life's working. Yeah, working boy. Look at that boy. He's working. Someday he's going to grow up. Man, that boy just works. <laughs> <laughs> what an efficient boy. <laughs> Like, when you see that kid again next year, wow, that boy's working. Yeah, that boy's Look how working. big he is. <laughs> How's that sound? I like it. Does it sound good for mama's por <laughs> uh, pie? My favorite sentences. Are we still recording, by the way? Yes. My favorite sentences are the ones where you have no idea what's happening. <laughs> That's most of them. Those are my favorite sentences that there are. Okay, hang on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. How's this one for you? That's good. This is great. <laughs> Why does it hard cut out like that in the end? <laughs> that would be it. Everyone would be. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Everyone's <laughs> silent. That's my favorite thing in the world when someone cuts out like that. Yeah. 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 Well, everybody pipe down. Good. Everyone shut your mouth at the same second. <laughs> <laughs> and the band will too. The band will stop also. We got 12 other shows to film today. We're on a tight schedule. We did that bit that Beatles that day. bit. Yeah, that will never be on anything. It was a really good bit, though. That makes me sad because if that was a video and it was released around the same time where, like, one of the many, many Beatles anniversaries, you know, if yeah. it was like the 75th Beatles anniversary. The 75th year since Paul McCartney <laughs> got out of his car yeah. in front of the <laughs> Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and it's all over TV Guide, uh-huh. and they can't even fit the title in. No, anymore. but it must be said that way. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, people aren't going to know which Beatles anniversary it is. <laughs> I saw a live orchestration of the Back to the Future of that the was original recent, Back right? to the Future movie. Yeah. yeah, orchestrated fully. The film was uh, playing, and then the. It wasn't partially orchestrated. It wasn't partially orchestrated. There they wasn't the a whole half thing. orchestra. They do a lot of those half orchestra. They don't just do like the first song and the eighth song. <laughs> <laughs> all right, which all one's just, this? You all guys want to do this there. one? They're sitting there with all their instruments and their tuxedos, and they're just <laughs> <laughs> skipping. Around. Yeah, they're just having a seat. Yeah. They're watching the movie at one point. Hey, you remember this one? No? <laughs> well, I'll catch the next one. We got time. I um would listen to the eighties rap, like I'd listen to uh a Sugar little bit Hill. of Grandmaster Flash. Yeah. Sugar Hill gang, yeah. Sure. I'd I'd listen to the, the Fat Boys. All those Sugar Hill boys. All those boys from the Sugar Hill in Los Angeles. You ever been to Sugar Hill? All those boys are in a group. <laughs> <laughs> you, if you live in Sugar Hill, you're in a band whether you like it or not. <laughs> and, and it's great and everybody and it, loves you. Yeah, and you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I watched the one that was like about bands and he was heavily featured in it. Uh-huh. I forgot who it was a like a popular like rock, classic rock documentary that came out. Cars. <laughs> no, Cars 2. <laughs> the one with the Italian car that comes out and goes, "Hey, I got a meatball. Let me drive a 19 miles per hour." <laughs> you know I don't And like I'm going to get into a car wreck. <laughs> Remember you know, that scene? You know I don't like that. We've talked about this. Ah, I'm an Italian a car. I wouldn't be Italian if it didn't have the voice like this. I'm a Disney cartoon. I can get away with a racism. <laughs> this place has a free like Bush show going on, but Gavin Rosdale isn't there. I wouldn't go see that. But what if you were like in the air? What if I was like, dude, it's like right here. We're right in front of the place. Dude, you just told me you have 20 minutes to kill. You said that to me out loud. I'd look at it for a second. I'd look You'd at step them. step in? What if they were like starting off with some good shit? What do you mean step in? Like they handed me a guitar? No, what if they started Michael! off? Michael! Is that you, Michael? <laughs> what if they start <laughs> in the back of the room? Hey, man, come on up there. You know be song. Oi. Michael! <laughs> Why don't you get up here? Scott ain't here. <laughs> Why don't you get up on this stage? Sing Gavin Rosedale. Sing Dev- the words. Hey, hey, Dev, don't mind. <laughs> get on up here. Good night, love. I'm a big talking head guy. I'm a big Gary Newman guy. Yeah. Big. I love the cars. Yeah. I love the... Uh... Joy Division. <laughs> I like Echo and the Bunny. The Exhausted Musical Podcast. It's funny you mention Echo and the Bunny, man. Because <laughs> they were uh, influenced by the, thir- <clears throat> the 13 floor elevators. Do you like Nine Inch Nails? I remember you liking fan. their videos. I think he used to be on MTV. Did you listen to Duel? What's that? They said, did you listen to Tool? I saw Tool in concert no once. No way! I didn't love it. I think we're going to go about 200 uh, minus 
uh, t- 197 You started with two. I'm just trying hour. to keep track on this paper. You said 200. Minus 197 Science. miles per hour. That's about. Still working it out. I believe that's three two, miles. I think it's three miles per hour. 200 and minus. 197. I'm going to need a new piece of paper. You can't write on that one. That's my birth certificate. I don't I'll know why a it's different here. One? That's my social security said, card. Okay. Do you have a notebook? That's my brother's birth certificate. Put why that is one your down. brother's birth certificate? You said 200? I'll put it on my phone. That's my. Those are my divorce papers. You're going to need to set those back down on top of my brother's birth certificate. <laughs> why was I keeping those documents together? <laughs> Why do I have my brother's birth certificate? <laughs> Why did I find them so easily? <laughs> Is Owen dead? What's happening over there? Are you okay, man? <laughs> he did, he did Why would you much. do that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like your organs are fighting to get out. <laughs> You're making the sound someone makes before they die. <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> you know what I just did now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, I can't He's in be, trouble. I can't be bothered to call for help. Okay. Like out loud or on the phone? Oh, God. All right. But when you go into fucking Sophia's office, do you not take something? I don't. I really do want to, though, because yeah. she's got a lot of little grab size, <laughs> grab bag size candy. I like the idea of all of that type of stuff, like stuff that's in a bowl for everyone. As a grab? Just being called grab. Dude, you got to fucking grab at those bars. Sophia? No one does grab like Sophia. <laughs> I think it can be used both ways. We just tried out. That's fine. <clears throat> oh, you're talking about the best boy who does grab in our group? Sophia. Brad. <laughs> Brad's got the grab. Grab bad, Brad. He's a grab Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted that to work better than it did. That's my fault. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Soph, give up the grab. (laughs) 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 Oi, we ain't leaving till we get that grab. (laughs) It's gonna be the night (laughs) eve out here. (laughs) And everything. (laughs) (laughs) What's, oi, what's today? Is it a uh, eighth thing? <laughs> it's nineteenth. It means tomorrow. Well, it's the nineteenth. It'll be a nineteenth. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna fucking joke. <laughs> the door that leave that exits my hall down to the floor. Yeah. Uh, where you walk home. As soon as you're down about five steps out of the door, it closes, and at a certain point, it makes a sound like it says, shh. It's like a perfect human, get out of here right now, shh, sound. Perfect. (laughs) Every time. And I forget about it every time. You have contributed to some scary things about this place. Yeah. Like the the shush door. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I the actually shentrance. go through the, I go, <laughs> the shore way. I, uh, I, I go through the shentrance, the sheller door. <laughs> the shexit. <laughs> I go through the shexit all day, every day. Oh. <laughs> and I don't notice the sh. The cat is in here. <laughs> in the gym? In the gym. And the door is closed because it seems like someone doesn't want to let the cat out, maybe. And they're like... Well, you know the old the old phrase. The old saying, don't let the cat out of the gym. 
If there's a cat in the gym, close the door. Yeah. The old adage. The old adage, yeah. Um, if there's a cat in the gym, let Jim in. Let Jim in. Anyway, so... Gymnasium. <laughs> Shalotties. <laughs> where you get the shimnasium where you can do shlotties. He lose weights. That was a stretch, but it worked. <laughs> it ended up working. All right. All right. Anyway, um, <laughs> squats. Uh, so you <laughs> make sure you stretch. <laughs> And when you're done, have a shower. <laughs> I start driving towards the open gate, and she's coming towards my car, and she starts to walk around the right side of my car, the passenger side. Lifts up your car. <laughs> throws it takes into the Takes me wall. to her dimension. <laughs> so I can see the hell she deals with. <laughs> so I can see what she's working with on the daily. Brings me what kind of upside down terrible <laughs> shit's happening in her dimension? Grabs my car with both hands, drags me off to her dimension. <laughs> we spent a good like forty five minutes compl- there. <laughs> like a guy complaining about his job at the bar, <laughs> drags me into her dimension. Like talking about traffic. <laughs> shit's all kinds of upside down there i pull into the driveway next thing you know i'm in her dimension i saw an elephant eating a house in that dimension <laughs> now, i saw shit i can't explain and when i tried to take a picture with my iphone the image was all garbled up i heard a voice in my head that said don't <laughs> so guess what man i didn't because i was like what the fuck was that because realistically man you hear that fucking voice why would you I heard it in my body. <laughs> it was as if someone went into my body to tell me don't. Thanksgiving food is so good. Thanksgiving food. Yeah. Is, you don't is just, just, you never good. just eat turkey no, on Thanksgiving. No, no, no. You eat turkey in an amalgamation on the fork with a bunch of other oh, things. Thank, Sweet potatoes. Thank you. Uh, thank you for saying that. Cran babbles. Um, stuff. stuff. Grab. <laughs> all kinds of grab all i mean you all, look at the table that's one big grab you're gonna get a thanksgiving grab you'll never forget <laughs> i love grab I'm glad that that came back. i love it i want to use it but i don't know if i've figured it out yet you uh you're sitting at the table with your family and everyone ate and you unbutton your pants and you you're leaning back on your chair and you hit your stomach and you're like, well, that's some good Thanksgiving grab. <laughs> well, I've had enough grab for one night. <laughs> yeah. Over to Mo with the leaderboard. Over to you, Mo. Mo. That's me, I'm Mo. That's me. We got Mo oh, leading with about a no eight. <laughs> We've got him coming in at 19. We've got Michael, who loves soccer and rollerblading, coming in at about 19. Next up is Jennifer, and she's a swimmer, and she's got about 19. <laughs> Everybody's tied up. Thank you, Mo. Well, I think you misunderstood. I'm saying, like, don't ever tell me something (laughs) and point your finger up in the air ever again. (laughs) I promise you, as your friend, I'll listen to anything you have to say without that tiny finger. (laughs) I'm a very, I'm an animated person, Mike. The finger up means nothing. Oh, hold on just just a minute. My body's on autopilot. (laughs) That's like. Whatever fucking crazy <laughs> bastard in my brain is controlling my arms. Okay. That's what he likes to do. Okay. He sure. thinks that's a good bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Pinocchio would be kind of cool. I want a proper a prop it. It'll be alive. Pinocchio wanna... would be for sale at Nerdist. Yeah. Like you could buy Pinocchio? Yeah. And like no one knows he's he's major. Would he also do stand up there? Yeah, he does in the back room. Yeah. He does meltdown. open mic. He, he does it at Meltdown. He does Meltdown. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Hey, so you on Tinder? And he'd be like, Wah! 
I like living in LA. <laughs> and his noses start growing. <laughs> And everyone's like, yes, fucking nose is growing, he's lying! Yes, <laughs> yeah, I fucking love this guy! Pinocchio, you doing the nose bit tonight? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> See you out there, boys! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you look good tonight! Fuck oh. off! <laughs> He's a dick. You guys have been a great crowd. <laughs> Seriously, though. Same time next week, guys. Seriously, though. Thanks for coming out. Tip your waitress. <laughs> Dude, he's so fucking funny. His fucking nose gro- Dude, his nose grows. I've never seen anything when he like lies. it. lies. <laughs> Pinocchio, the... Uh, yeah, he's just like a, a decent open mic comic. Pinocchio would be the perfect witness on the stand <laughs> on a court room yeah he's on they try to get him in every court case and he's all strung out (sighs) pinocchio you're strung out but we want you on the case i can't see any more pain yeah but listen we need good guys like you good guys that can't lie i can't lie yeah but like you don't want that (laughs) nose growing (laughs) yeah and then so like let's say he's like all right i'm done with my set (laughs) have a good one guys and his nose is fucking way the fuck out there because he did his bits. He's knocking over drinks. He goes backstage and he goes, oh, man, I'm tired as fuck. I just want to go home. I'm fucking like, oh, I'm not doing well, man. I'm sad. I'm depressed. Yeah, and then it's like normal nose. And he goes like, all right, see you next week. <laughs> like, is that how he gets it back? Mr. Walter Elias Disney one day took his daughter to the park where there was a carousel. Is this the history road? I'm confused. <laughs> Owen, would you please? Give him a sec. <laughs> what the fuck? Is he putting music down? Please be putting music down. <laughs> what if you looked behind us and he had like a powdered wig? <laughs> <laughs> and then suddenly that was a harpsichord. <laughs> One day, Walter Elias Disney, he was at a park. Is this going to make me want to go more or less? <laughs> His daughter was riding the carousel. Yeah. Happy. Waving, laughing. Hi, Dad. Walt waving back. Oh, hey. Sorry, that made him sound older than he was at Could the time. Could he talk at this point? But, uh, you know, but he was... <laughs> he eating a churro? He was <laughs> just, you know, his daughter's far away. Whatever he was going to say, she wasn't going to hear anyway. Muffled, sure. So he's doing the... <laughs> you know, you've done it. We were at Frankenstein. Uh, collectibles show this weekend, Mike mm-hmm. and I, and we uh, certainly were. What an adventure that! That was. was so fun, and I shot some stuff, and I haven't even looked at the footage yet, and I haven't even gotten to really realize how bad the audio is. Probably, I think it's <laughs> going to be horrible because yeah. it was in that case the whole time. Ah, uh, well, we can just dub it. Anyway, that um, would be actually really funny because <laughs> we're so happy in all the shots. Yeah. Can you imagine having to recreate that happiness and that energy in it, like right here where we're recording the podcast? I would watch that video. As all right, maybe we'll. Maybe that's what we'll do. That'll be funny. There should be zero indication that it's dubbed, though. It should be like <laughs> Mike and Steve at Frank and Sons Collectible Show. Everything is fine. Dubbed. <laughs> Audio is great. <laughs> Brackets Dash. best audio. <laughs> best audio. 4K audio. 1080p. Yeah. Every line of resolution audio. <laughs> yeah. Like incorrect things about audio. 480 audio. <laughs> the only problem that ever happened was that like the shower would be gross. Occupied. Oh. And there's two other guys that want to take a shower. Was it gross there? Um, I mean, I had my own shower. I had my my room. My I had the master bedroom because I paid more. Uh-huh. So I had I had the master bedroom. And there was a bathroom in there. So yeah. like I didn't really use their restroom, okay. only to jerk off in and like leave sperm on the wall. On the wall, leave a little poop somewhere. I'd poop up the drawers. You ever pooped up the drawers before? No. What you do is is you wipe up 
about 30 cent per cent. And then you you take the rest of that poo you got down there, you get a little on your pinky finger, and then you just do a little one Mississippi <laughs> on the handle of the... <laughs> one Mississippi. Just Mississippi. <laughs> one Mississippi. Two Mississippi. How many drawers are there? Four? Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. <laughs> So you put poop on your hands and you wipe it Just on the Just my drawer. pink. I'm sorry. I'm not an animal. <laughs> on my pinky. Not on my hands. <laughs> um, you have shit on your own hands and then you kid yourself into thinking that they got the worst of the deal. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, fuck, I'm in Star Wars. And it's really exciting. You look up and there's some Admiral Akbar guys looking out the window and they're like, it's fun. It's fun shit. Yeah. There's announcements over the thing that's like your car is going to be towed or your spaceship's about to be towed and shit like that. It's yeah. really cool. Does somebody always, like a dad joke, does somebody always pat their pockets to find their keys and they're like, your spaceship's about to be towed. I bet I they like, do. Oh, well, kids, is that the, oh no, we I have I bet a some dads have done that for sure. All right, I like it. I'm not looking at any dad's pants and waiting for that to happen while I'm there, but I'm sure it's happened. <laughs> Take a look at a dad's I'm not pants seeing what though. dad's hands are doing. I'm not looking at dad hands <laughs> while I'm at Disneyland. All right. <laughs> Dadhands.com. <laughs> Um, anyway, oh, and where's the hat? So I was backslash with, dad hands. <laughs> I was with uh, Will, and we passed the C the C three on R two D two, and he's asking me all these questions, and then suddenly we come up to this door on our left side, and he goes, "What's through that door? Is that C three PO's garden?" <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately, the first thing that came to his head. C3PO's head. garden. <laughs> and you know what's funny to me? To someone that's never really given a shit about Star Wars, yeah. C3PO could very well have a garden. Just a nervous garden. <laughs> he's where he de stresses. Yeah. He works with his petunias. That's the one time he's at peace. <sighs> oh, finally, I'm in my garden. Oh, I feel so calm Ooh, who's here. Who's thirsty? Who wants some water? I bet the is tomatoes do. are thirsty. How are my cucumbers? Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> water for the cucumbers. <laughs> oh, oh, no, <laughs> but I just I laugh so hard at that because yeah. like imagine C three B having a fucking garden. I really like how specific it, it is. I don't like that. You did say that. That you it's don't... eye level, maybe. Can I... is the thing. <laughs> it's a little above eye level. I don't like how a little bit above eye level it is. You'd I... rather it be where it is in the film, which yeah. is about... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is in a box, <laughs> in a closet somewhere. <laughs> you want it, You don't want it to be taller than you, because it's I'd scary. I would rather it be in a box. If it's taller than you, it could hurt you. <laughs> So you want it to, That's the general to, rule that I've followed. <laughs> it's kept me out of trouble for this long. <laughs> Stay away from things that are taller than you. So you don't mess with refrigerators. Nah, nah. Soda machines. No, nah, cabinets, most cabinets. cabinets. What if you came over like next week to do the next episode of the podcast and there was another ET in a dress? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, side. found it. Found another. <laughs> On the other side of the house. Yeah. What would you do? I would say, well, that's too many. <laughs> <laughs> do you think there's a scenario where you're walking home and you really let it sink in that I have two of those? <laughs> 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 and you question, you question your friend and you get concerned. Or do you think you go, to, do you think you go to Zoya and you say, oh man, I, you know, it the weirdest freaking thing. I recorded the podcast of Steve. It was great, great podcast. A million listens on the internet, and you can for the one episode leave a review, a rate and review on iTunes for one episode. The the one million listens, but man, he's got like two full size ETs in a dress. I know what I'm she worried would say. about my friend. You would never see her again. <laughs> Not you a mean chance. I would never see her again, or she'd never come here both, again? Both. 
<laughs> That's grounds for losing her friendship? Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> she would be nice to you if she saw you accidentally. So there's a third one the next time you That's come too many. You did too much. Is one on are eBay you, right now are under you, your name? Are you worried? Because if it's not, I'll start it for you. Are you concerned? That's that's what I do. You know, I walk up to it. I open up the eBay app on my phone. And I start taking pictures of it. And I, I send you the draft. I said, halfway there. Is this one Why don't you good? finish her off? What are we selling this one for? What's the buy it now? Let's True. take E.T., a clip of E.T., where they yeah. say his name 17 times. And change it to extraterrestrial. <laughs> <laughs> extraterrestrial! Why are you leaving? <laughs> extraterrestrial phone home. <laughs> it's terrifying. It's terrifying. <laughs> it it also, doesn't work. It also makes the movie about an hour and a half longer. <laughs> You can't call someone the terrestrial. <laughs> like, this is, the, dude, this is my movie. friend. His name is the terrestrial. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what they're doing with E.T. <laughs> they're saying, here's my friend, extraterrestrial. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, here, this is my friend Jamie. Here's extraterrestrial. <laughs> extraterrestrial. Meet mom. <laughs> you can't do it. You can't name someone. You can't name a living thing extraterrestrial. <laughs> oh, God. What if there was a movie called TT, The Terrestrial? And it's the same thing shot for shot as E.T., but just with a dude. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like an alien world, and no, it's just a dude? Yeah, it's an alien world. And there's a dude in it. And everyone else is E.T., <laughs> except for one person who is like T.J. Miller. <laughs> you know what's interesting, though? They would have He would have to be someone smart, because E.T. was smart enough to build, I'm sorry, extraterrestrial was You're smart enough. Miller's not smart. Well, extraterrestrial built e. a Miller. machine to call. <laughs> <laughs> call home. <laughs> they should cast E. Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> e. Tom Hanks. <laughs> or you know what? Switch it up. E. Tilda Swinton. <laughs> Why what, hey, why can't extraterrestrial be a woman? Why can't extraterrestrial be a woman? Absolutely. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I like was losing my mind at an early hour after having like maybe about three to four solid hours of sleep. That's not good. That's not good. Like, and so it was like panic i was like panicking yeah panic and skywalker over here. panic and skywalker yeah panic at the disco baby pan uh, the international house of pancake pan am up in that bitch pancake uh panty pan, panic mayonnaise i was pandora's box that night <laughs> <laughs> I was Peter Pan. <laughs> Peter Panikin. I was Peter Panikin Skywalker. Dude, you fucking been to the club? <laughs> fucking Peter Panikin Skywalker is the shit. Dude, he does this fucking thing where he literally just goes, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Just the dude in the mic and a bunch of lights. So this you were terrified. Peter Panikin Skywalker. Terrified. I think, can I make one? <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be a, a PSN name. It's good. It needs to be like an email address. Can I give What's you my, another? What if my email address was <laughs> Peter Panic and Skywalker? <laughs> 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 I think I need to change it. I think it's time. I think I need to change it. 
But I was like thinking, who the fuck can I talk? I need someone. <laughs> like I need Bree or I need someone to to be like, I'm fucking scared right now and yeah. I'm not doing okay. Do you know where the old lady lives? Oh man. Go and knock on that door. <laughs> you should have asked her yeah. if she'll hold me for a hey, second. Hey, listen, I'm real freaked out. I didn't know who else to turn to. Yeah, I'm terrified right now. I wanted to come to the least scary person here. <laughs> For some comfort. <laughs> Turns out they were asleep. <laughs> How are you so, doing? But you're up, and it's almost the witching hour. So what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> and what's I'm gonna head cooking back to in my that? Ap- that's a big black pot. That's a cauldron. Is that a cauldron? <laughs> I, whoa, is that like an old kettle? What are you doing with that in get there? a three-foot wooden spoon. <laughs> That's a lot of hay down there. Does that help <laughs> soak up water? Or <laughs> it's hard to see with all the smoke in your apartment. Is there? <laughs> Looks like there's some children running around in there too. You got any dancing kid? around the cauldron? <laughs> I don't think it gets any better than extraterrestrial. No, I don't think so. Hocus um, terrestrial, hocus <laughs> mucus, ex- extraterrestrial too. Hocus mucus, extra mucus pocus. pocus. <laughs> The Pocus Tournament. <laughs> the Pocus. <laughs> Bill and Ted's Pocus Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Extraterrestrials Pocus Journey. Dude, did I just top Mucus Pocus? <laughs> That's totally part three. Part three is Extraterrestrials Pocus, Pocus Journey. <laughs> Okay, I got it. A sign that says, don't touch. <laughs> but it has to be written in in Sanskrit so the witch can understand. <laughs> it's, got to... it's written in the blood of the owl. <laughs> <laughs> Winter's owl. <laughs> With the auburn hair. <laughs> It was pinned. It was pinned with a desert quill. <laughs> the obs- it it's one of the first winter's owl. It's written in chapter twelve of the Obsidian Moon. Every boy warlock knows that. <laughs> that settles it. <laughs> well, thanks for listening, guys. That was that was our history road. White sign, red letters. Do not touch. Penalty. White sign, red letters. The symbol for the equinox. (laughs) She'll get it. Three stars, one moon. (laughs) And if that doesn't deliver the message... You might have to draw Jupiter's tail. (laughs) I'm sorry I said it. (laughs) One sign, one can of stardust. (laughs) <laughs> Two chickens. <laughs> a pot. 12,000 gallons a of water. A shaved down onyx stone. <laughs> <laughs> the breath of a phoenix. <laughs> One full night. Stacked obsidian. <laughs> I hope you're writing this down. This is all we need. <laughs> It was it was in front of me the whole time. You want to fix this problem? I missed the stacked obsidian. <laughs> it was right in front of me. I made a small boy's mistake. <laughs> what happens if you are also a crazy person and you attempt to communicate with another crazy person? I don't know. That's what makes the I world honestly, go around. I think maybe they cancel each other out. It's just one normal conversation. I think it turns into a normal conversation. I'd love to see ah, it. Ah, there's eggs. Eggs everywhere. Eggs. No, no, no. You're the eggs. Oh, I'm the guy. How are the kids? Your kids all right? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, cool. Yeah. I He's grown up I've so seen him fast. Up. I see him driving down Sepulveda pretty so quick. So big. Yeah. It's so great. I don't know whose car that is. I don't know whose car it is either. I hope they're not stealing any. They're stealing cars. <laughs> all right. Well, have a good one, Rick. Um, it's one <laughs> <laughs> No, too many dogs. Too many dogs.
There's seven dogs. I'm going to pay for this. I've seen seven dogs. <laughs> <laughs> there was something with the ET in a dress <laughs> that we never got to, which was that? how much it cost. You still, we still don't know. I mean, do oh, you, good cliffhanger episode, right? Yeah. We had a cliffhanger, and we didn't really talk about how much it cost. Yeah. So, I mean, shall do we? Do you want Should, me to ask? That well, again? do you have a guess? Five hundred dollars. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrap up for last week's episode and now stay tuned next week for the next topic stay down stay tuned to next time for this one for- <laughs> <laughs> and if you want the next one you see you next time and then now we'll talk about that one in the next one and coming up next this one the one after that is the one where we'll get to the next one word <laughs> you could trade the et for about 57 stools <laughs> <laughs> one life size ET. Why would I want that many stools? Are you they wouldn't. replicas I'm just saying from you something? Could. It's something that you could do. Okay. Hypothetically. Well, replica stools. Yeah, they're the same stools that were in like Goodwill Hunting. There we go. Yeah. In the bar in Goodwill Hunting? Yeah. Hey man, these are replica stools. No one Why from would you why would cocktail. you not Why would you not believe that? Is You're anybody right. going to be lie like about that? Let me see the scratches. Yeah, no, no one would that. lie about it. These are stools Replica stools, scratch for scratch from Cheers. <laughs> Ted Danson. Smell this. This is Norm's ass. Ted Danson put his hand on this chair t- over 25 years ago. And Season between two. then and now, at least 2,000 other people have put their hands on it <laughs> that were not Ted Danson. And that's what you're buying. <laughs> <laughs> and really, that's what you're buying. Yeah. yeah. Shit, I'm sold. He was like, yeah, so like I've got this like box hookup at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah, like this guy like just gave it to us. Like he just like he's trying to be my friend. And so he like called. He's like, yeah, you guys ever want a box at the Hollywood Bowl? <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's a little nasally, but yeah. the cadence is right <laughs> it's on. It's a little nasally. Yeah. I'm working on it. It's great. I, uh, impressions aren't my strong suit. Elliot is, I've said this a million times, yeah. Elliot is, he's a uh, scary good at friend impressions. Yeah, yeah. He can't do anyone worth it yeah. or like famous. But he can do, our, he can do us. Yeah. yeah. You know who else is amazing at impressions? Amazing. ear amazing. Who? Chelsea Dunaway. Is that right? Yeah. She's, she's so fucking, cool as fucking shit, good at, at impressions. Like, like amazing. Yeah. Like, what is, who does she do? Only Friends. Oh. <laughs> From the TV show From Friends. From the TV show Friends. Her Joey is, um, um, <laughs> you know what, man? I don't know if she's ever done. I forget about it all the time because the person's uh, whose thing it is doesn't talk to me about it either <laughs> so i forget that it exists all the time and then i remember Seth mcfarland is it Seth, sec mcfarland sex mcfarland yeah sex mcfarmland <laughs> sex mcfarmland presents hose on patrol <laughs> I thought you were going to say, like, Planet Earth. Planet Earth. <laughs> the Cosmos. Filmed and narrated by <laughs> Sex <laughs> sex with Farmland. <laughs> I think I'm going to be one of those guys, those older, gray-haired, big beard, Hawaiian shirt, fedora guys. Yeah. That's just, like, old and just going to all these film festivals. Yeah. I definitely will not be with a woman like Brie by that point. No, no, no. You will have a camera around your neck, I though. will have a camera around my neck and a shirt that barely buttons around it. You will wear flip-flops in the wintertime. I will have cargo shorts on. I will have varicose veins. You will lose your keys in the hotel room. I will be wearing Crocs. And I will have a Taco Bell cheese in my beard from the taco. <laughs> was, that's the next thing I was going to say. <laughs> Almost word for word. <laughs> and oh. I do have a fanny pack with my ID in it. 
and including I, a passport. And I do get pissed off when they don't give me my com- complimentary cookie when I check into the hotel. And I did have to alter the strap on that fanny pack to accommodate the large amounts of con- uh, candies that are going to be in my bag. And I do have a, a guy I call the fanny pack guy who does that for me. I do Talk have about a, Danny? A, Danny the Danny Fanny? Fanny? <laughs> Danny Phantom? Take it to Danny. He'll let it out. Oh, Danny Fanny will hook you up. <laughs> the question was, do you, have you guys ever had any incidents where people were passing out or vomiting or running out of the theater because it was too gruesome? Yeah. And he, he said, we usually have, we have like a, gr- like a, the, the, the patrons of Fantastic Fest are used to, they have a little bit of a stronger stomach. stomach. But just in case, there's a jambulance that we call, which is a karaoke ambulance. (laughs) (laughs) In Austin. (laughs) Okay, everyone, uh, the exits are up here and back there. Everybody knows that. Also, I've personally never seen this happen, but if there's anyone who gets sick or feels like they need to leave, the jambulance is outside. (laughs) If anyone's feeling sick or wants to sing some meat love songs, there's a jambulance right outside. If anyone's feeling faint or really likes Gloria Stefan, the jambulance is by the curb outside. I've been told by multiple <laughs> priests while being part of a wedding party that you guys better not come in here during the rehearsal. You guys better not come in here drunk tomorrow because okay. you look like the kind of group that well, would that's do fucked that. up. It's happened multiple times. I don't want you in here on drugs. The priest will look at me and tell me not to do stuff all the time. I've had a priest come up to me and say, don't tell your parents what happened in this room. Don't you dare, he said. Were you at like a movie premiere? Or... Was there an uh, embargo on the... <laughs> Did somebody... on the movie you watched? Did somebody finish a series that your parents are maybe only halfway through? Did a magician do a really impressive trick that you found out how they did it? He told you how it's done. (laughs) Don't ever. (laughs) Was somebody buying your family a Christmas gift that they revealed to you only? (laughs) You planning a surprise anniversary party for your parents? You been to Universal City Walk? I think so. There's a shop. Uh-huh. There with cartoon toys. Okay. And cartoon statues. And it has like many drawings of toys? Cartoon toys. <laughs> 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 yeah, drawings of toys. This is just like an art. Cartoon style toys. <laughs> <laughs> this this here is a modern cartoon style home. <laughs> I interest you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what is wrong with your arm? Um. <laughs> Did that burp come from your arm? I don't ever want to know what your microphone smells like. <laughs> Do you know how smells work? You know when you they just, normally don't stick around. When you burn things on a grill for years. Yeah, and there's like a <laughs> there's like a pan yeah. with all the like grime on it. <laughs> yeah. It's that's a clean your, mic. That's it's a clean microphone. It's a clean mic. No, it's not. I'm gonna, I, I want no you. it's not, and I'll tell you. Really? You think that's true? Yes. I know it's true. I lived it. What if I told you I've switched out our screens, our you, pop filters? I don't think you would do that. What if I told you I did? Well, mine doesn't smell horrible, so that leads me to believe that you did not do that. Hang on. Let me get my nose in here. You can't. Okay. You just... Are you trying to smell the, what the, okay. Are you, do you are you getting anything? Smell like an old grill, maybe. Uh-huh. Good. No, no, there's nothing, man. We've got a very ill Mike Falzone today on this episode of the podcast, I Mike. I don't know what's happening. What's wrong, baby? You got a real bad headache? Yeah, the lights, for the first time, I'm experiencing that. Yeah. How the lights hurt. Can I say something? There's something that bothers me a lot in this apartment. Is it the E.T.? (laughs) (laughs) 
No, you think that bothers me? Dress you think E.T. bothers me? I'm just, keep your voice down. Do you think that E.T. bothers me? Because I think we did a whole episode about how E.T. means a lot to me. I'll go back and listen. The one thing that really, really bothers me is that stupid, tiny little lamp on Owen's desk. Oh, yeah. It bothers me a lot. Why? It bothers me because it's like the tiniest little light, and I feel like no matter what, it's always on. And when I'm like about to go to bed, it's still on. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm carrying like a LaCroix and my iPhone and like a blanket and then that fucking little light is on, I'm like, oh, I can't just go over and like flip a switch with my elbow. Now you're saying I gotta I, shove I, my hand into You gotta carry this little light too. Yeah, now I gotta carry this light. You have to like shove your hand into this like uncomfortable space between a keyboard and a desk. And like reach for this like tiny little switch just to turn off this dumb little light. Yeah. And I don't like it at all. Is that a first world problem? Yes. (laughs) Listen, man, I didn't say, you know what bothers me about the world today? (laughs) I said, do you know what bothers me about my apartment? I just got to ask you to keep the volume in mind. If you want me to talk about what bothers me about the world. It's not that it's because it's your possession, Owen. It's just that it's an inconvenient in- 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 convenient <laughs> switch. There's just an inconvenient place for that switch. There was also these other trash apps in the app store, like Cat Piano. Trash. Trash. I did a little cat piano song and I won a bag of sand. (laughs) In what time period is that an acceptable story? Especially if it's like that. I played a cat piano song and won a bag of sand. (laughs) I have a headache. There it is. Very large headache. It feels like there's um, some kind of grip or a vice on my eyes. (laughs) <laughs> like you're watching Vice on YouTube in, behind your eyes. It's like I'm watching. It's like you're watching Vice, Miami Vice, <laughs> with my eyes. That's how bad it hurts. Um, a Vice and man. So um, you say you don't normally on, get hold headaches. On, like now this. it's my turn. That's this is how this goes. Yeah, you don't hurt yourself. You got to go back and forth. Don't I hurt feel yourself. like I'm watching. Come on, give me a chance. Vanilla Vice. There it is. Music videos from the 90s. God. Would you like some fried vice? Shit. Back to me. (laughs) Uh, It's pretty quick. Well, vice. (laughs) Did we say Miami Vice? Did you drink too much coffee today? Yeah. That probably will do it too. Okay. I did this to myself. How many? Did you drink more coffee than normal? Today? I don't want to talk about the amount of coffee. Okay. I today. It's making me sick right. to my stomach. Yeah, it's just. You think just because we have a podcast, we got to sound off about the amount of coffee I drank today? I mean, no one's gonna judge you or anything. It feels like I'm being a little judge. I'm definitely not judging you. We there's no judge. way to judge you if there's no nothing to judge I'd you be for. I had the guest this week, Mike Judge. <laughs> judge Reinhold. Judge Judge Judy. Back to me? Fuck. Judge Judy. (laughs) Judith. Mm -hmm. Judge Wapner. Judge Wapner. They were in Wayne's World. Wayne's World. (laughs) Wayne's World. Wayne's World 1 and 2. Wayne's World Party Time Accident. Wayne's (laughs) World Accident? (laughs) You know how it goes. Wayne's World Party Time (laughs) Accident. Yeah. Then the lady was struck by a car. Wayne's World Party Town (laughs) Accident. Wayne's World. Party town. <laughs> <laughs> Accident. Wiggity, wiggity, wiggity. Accident. Wee, 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 wee. This like homeless guy to me seemed like he was maybe the devil. And like these two kids, these two like teenage kids, um, they enter this guy's like dimension. Like <laughs> they enter his dimension. No, they enter this like warehouse where he lives. And where he's like making bread and like he's doing all this weird shit. He's like making bread soup. (laughs) You've had it. This is no different.
bread. There's a guy in the valley who makes like a killer bread soup. <laughs> this is no different than if you would have just said like, I'm going to make up a movie. <laughs> We watched this movie called Tony Erdman, which was a German movie. <laughs> it was a German comedy about an older man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Tim Bergman, the older German man? <laughs> German Bergman, the older German Bergen. The elder German gentleman. Gentleman. Tim, Tim Burton's Jim Mergen, the Herman, Herman Mergen, Greasy like Strangler. Warren. Elliot Morgan. Elliot Morgan. My friend used to do Same As It Ever Was. Oh, Talking Heads. That's a great song. And you may and find also, it also. That song is almost like spoken word. So yeah, if you're afraid to sing, it's like a good it's a But good then track. there's the part that's like... Yeah, you need to really belt that part. I guess you're right. You gotta have both. I think it's still at a talking register. Though. Hold on. Listen again. There should be a podcast with Listen. Brett Register called Listen Talking it. Register. I think you're bringing the... the I'll th- tell you what I'm doing. I think you're bringing it too Listen hot. again. You may find yourself... Right. In a shotgun shack. Do you see what I'm saying now? You may find yourself with in a, another part of the world. A different part. You may ask yourself, who is this person next to me, to my immediate left? <laughs> Any good days go by? Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess it doesn't require the singing for you that need part. It. You need both. Would you notice something like that? Um, I don't know, man. It's hard. Unless you're in that position. That like, let's say position. you go into a bathroom stall, you're about to use it, and you see there. an adult's diaper next to the toilet on the ground. I'm just sit, hanging out. Does it say anything? or <laughs> <laughs> Like, vocally or on it? Yeah. No. Okay. But there's an adult diaper there. Do you at least, like, acknowledge it? Do you, do you talk to yeah, someone about it? A, it? I give it a... Like, a, you tip your hat? <laughs> well, not... <laughs> How do you do? Sir. <laughs> <laughs> you get one of those? Pardon? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know this stall was occupied. <laughs> he said to the diaper. He said to the pamper. <laughs> Sir. I, I was asking you if you want to go to Las Vegas. And then I was like, I can't. I'm <laughs> you sorry. Can't go. And as soon as I knew that you definitely couldn't go, I said. Uh, you instantly said. Well, it's my bachelor party and you were the last well, one actually you were, <laughs> you hold were on. the last one who's still in you were like can you go now i have to go do my bachelor party by myself well that's the thing you were like because that's hold on it wasn't specifically like that it was like can you go and i said i'm sorry i can't and i said what's going on and you're like something crazy yeah and i was like well you have to tell me and then you were like um <laughs> i don't know i don't know if i should tell you and then you didn't text me back for like 15 minutes. I probably fell asleep or something. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? You have to tell me. I need to know. Yeah. And then I was like, do I need to rearrange my plans? Like, I can rearrange my plans, but you got to tell me what's going on. And then yeah. finally you got back to me and said, it's my bachelor party. <laughs> and then I was like, well, fuck. I, I, have, to, I have to go. Yeah. And I was thinking, like, very sweet of you. All I was thinking in my head was like, I have to go, no matter what. And also, this fuck you for lie. not telling me. Yeah. And just Until telling that me. Day. Yeah. Because then it made me think, like, well, that's an afterthought invite. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, for everyone. So and then except for me. Yeah, and then you said you're the last person, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do my bachelor party alone. Well, listen, said. Elliot can't go. Delman can't go. Uh, you were the last one I called. So I guess I'm bacheloring it up alone. I'm going to go hit the slots and watch Britney Spears do whatever she does over there. You should have gone home because you don't feel well. Yeah. And, I, and it, I was really concerned. And I put my hand on Owen's shoulder and I was like, hey, bud. Can you please do this episode I think for I called me? him friend. Yeah, you did call him friend. And then I my said. My voice quivered a little bit because it's like an emotional. Yeah. I don't want to express weakness. You yeah. Know? Like, but hey, you're amongst friends, so it's yeah, a safe I thought, place. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
And then Owen was like, absolutely not. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> That's exactly how it went. And I said, Mike is not feeling well. It would be nice. And he said, no. No. For that? For what? I think he said, for what? And I said, Mike's not feeling good, Owen. And then and he, he spit said, on the I ground. don't care. And then he ate his sandwich. <laughs> and now he's laying down on the couch over there. The couch he kicked me off of to the couch do the. He, kicked you he off goes, of. get your ass off the couch and do the podcast. Yeah. And he rolled me off <laughs> with his arms. <laughs> and, his, and his might. Yeah. He also <laughs> left a turd in your backpack <laughs> by the door. He farted into my backpack and hat. Some of this is untrue. <laughs> Most of it isn't. Had you been living here, not to rub it in, we would have already had you in so many fun sketches, and I think most people listening to this would be more exposed to the genius that is your ridiculous comedy and your hilarity. Yeah. Well, you know, and and I and I appreciate you saying that because I do like adding more regrets to my list. <laughs> If it, if you didn't feel depressed enough, here's some more depression for you. Sure. Thank you. If you lived Thank here, you. you'd already be on a bunch of shows and you'd be a famous L.A. actress. But it doesn't matter. Live in New York yeah. with the roaches yeah. and the trash. <laughs> Do you remember on, on Twitter there was like this Mean Girls Day thing? Yes. What was that for? Was it because of the movie mean or girls. there was some kind of yes. thing? So, Not just for generally for mean girls. It was from the movie. <laughs> There's a quote where she's Shout like, out to oh, all my mean day, girls. The boy said this. And that's and that's what it wasn't for real life mean girls to share yes, with was, each other it was on social real media. Mean girls appreciation day. So There's one for everyone. Well, I mean, it's not a, it's not an official day. It's just that in the right, movie, like no, October the mayor 30th. of the the mayor of Earth <laughs> has <laughs> has officially they sanctioned. Declared they declared cutting ceremony October third <laughs> is Mean Girl official World <laughs> Mean Girls Day. Right. <laughs> I wonder how China would feel about that. They don't care. I mean, oh. it's listen. You can't out. You can't oust the mayor of Earth. You have to agree with the mayor. <laughs> but you can joust him. Oh, or- man. This episode's going to be called The Mayor of Earth, isn't it? <laughs> they should calculate the number of fires, shattered windows, plane crashes, boat smash ups, beatings, choking. Boat smash ups? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, he said boat smash ups. <laughs> Oh, I, I like it. Wait a minute. They should calculate the number of fires, shattered windows, plane crashes, boat smash ups, beating, choking. <laughs> they should calculate. <laughs> boat smash ups. Even if he said boat smash ups. <laughs> no. It's still smash-ups. hilarious. We should call this episode boat smash ups. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll just go out and say it. I've never publicly said this, but I have a metaphobia. What is that? <laughs> is that when you compare something to something else? Like no, a metaphobia is the fear of vomit. Oh. I would have thought it was a fear of metaphors. <laughs> a metaphobia? I yeah. met a metaphobia the other day. He wasn't a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're bummed out that you didn't get to be on with Mike, but we're, Mark. we're going to make it happen. We're going to do another podcast where you will be our guest. And I've been speaking with him right now, by the way. <laughs> Have you been texting him? I've been. Well, we just. <laughs> we speak to each other on Twitter. Oh, OK. Well, he's. The, I know you guys have like a DM thing going on. I'm really jealous about yeah. it. Are you? I had one with both of you. you yeah, I was just it. kidding. No, no, no. I know about <laughs> it. I'm just kidding. You're allowed to be oh, with okay. friends with whoever you want. OK. It's fine. No, go. Go talk to Mike Felzone. <laughs> I will. Go ahead and fucking talk. To, I'll give you his phone number. Do you have his phone number? Uh, No. Well, I'll give it to you so you guys can fucking talk all night. Yeah, so tell me right now. What is it? Okay, it's uh, 310. <laughs> Your dog who almost bit my face off one time. Because uh, you made a frightening sound. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. I ma- you mean I made a the sound you make when you talk to dogs sound? Like... Because that's what I did. Weirdo. I was just how you talk to dogs. Listen, that's that's how I talk to all dogs when I first meet them. Listen, the even the ones that go to heaven. (laughs) Some dogs 
don't know what to do when a new face is in their face screaming adorable things at it. Okay? All right. Listen, okay. I, I don't take offense to it. Marlon is an animal. And you're right, I was in his face. But I was also giving him rubs. I was rubbing his head. I know. I bet if you did it now, I don't recommend it. But if you were to try <laughs> it now, I bet you might not get bit. I had a crew of cameras and some people in here filming some stuff that will eventually be seen that I can't really get into the specifics about. Awesome. So that's not interesting. When you said a crew of cameras, I immediately pictured you as Mickey Mouse in Fantasia. <laughs> and they're all dancing like around the 2016 me. version where there's just like cameras. <laughs> cameras dancing? Yeah. Bum, 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 and the mops are just soaking your carpet. <laughs> <laughs> and like water everywhere there's just water (laughs) everywhere and i'm like this isn't fun or okay right everyone's like leaving in a line right yeah everyone looks beautiful leaving but your apartment is still like a moldy wet it's just (laughs) gross smells like mop smell yeah hey mops get back here Yeah, like the piano soaking wet like Mm. my but all my comic books and graphic novels yeah are destroyed water damaged somebody stole your the state dvd oh no no one of the mops walked out with it oh no that's not okay piece of shit you can soak up all my graphic novels but you fuck with my stella dvd and you're out what's that picture of which one this one yes it's R two D two and uh, three T D T O T P O three T T P O arcade uh, P T P O arcade fire P- Park T P O uh, Ario Speedwagon R K O P O R K O P D V D Blu Ray dot com hashtag H D D V D. It's our sponsor for this week. <laughs> Once again, that is Steve H D D V D <laughs> Blu Ray. Uh, DVDs, RK Maroon, HMO, PPO, and uh, 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 sag com. And of course, you could use the promo code, which is HBlu-RayDVD.com, ARKO Speedwagon, ARIO Speedwagon.com. 50 for 50% off. Use that coupon code R A B B O C C C R A B V 3 3 R A B B I T. Rabbit. 50.com. <laughs> I thought of all these things about fall and I wanted to talk in great detail about how my birthday is later this month. Yeah. So everything fall related, I kind of take ownership. Okay. Of, yeah. And I love all of it. Leaves, pumpkin spice things, Halloween, car accidents. Did, I don't, I don't know that those are exclusive to the autumn. A lot line. of them in fall. Ask any cop. Because of the leaves? Just go up to or? a cop and ask him. Why? Do you know the reason? It's just seasons, baby. Turn, turn, turn. Too many turns, maybe. It's for every turn, turn, turn. This is nowhere near what you would be able to get at, like, Costco. Or, like... You're saying that's bigger. The Costco one. But... It took me too long. <laughs> I, really, I don't think there was a but. To, remember the, to game. remember the game. No, there wasn't a but. Okay. Yeah. It so, was nice, though. I want you to know. We could blow by this. It was nice you to have a You broke the there. only rule of the game. What's the rule? You of- can't deny the but. Oh, it, there was no butt coming. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, the but you are is, creating the butt. If I say oh, the butt. Oh, I get it. Okay. I, I, I thought it's the goal is to call out the butt before the other person no, lets their butt out. I didn't do a good enough out. job. Okay, so you're adding a butt. Call so out like, the butt before the other person lets their butt lets out. Lets their butt out. Good. So before I get my butt out, you get your butt I out. I have to take my butt out. But that's not the game. The game is is you the, you are creating a butt. So I have to finish the butt if it's your story? Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry to confuse you. If I say butt, it's like an audience member at an improv show being like, and now you're at the Sarsaparilla factory. Oh, so now I I have to create a butt. Yes. Okay. And you just it. have to finish. Wow, it. I didn't understand any part of this when you said it. It's probably it's my fault. Surprised In the comments I even below, like, is that my fault? What was I down for, you think? <laughs> yeah, let's do it, man. <laughs> I understand this is a fun this game. game. Russian roulette, That's totally a fun game. I love it. Is it anything like Russian dressing? You had me at game. <laughs> you had me at game. What if in the in the um the thing where it talks about the company and how <laughs> great their fucking product the is? The mission statement. 
What if in there it said, <laughs> we're proud to be America's candy maker for over 100 years and can't wait for you to get rid of this. <laughs> <laughs> We've been getting rid of this stuff for 100 years. <laughs> We've been get, helping you get rid of this since 1900. Can you uh, say the mission statement again, but replace the time with six months or so? The past six months or so? Proud to be America's number one. We're proud to be America's candy maker for over six months or so. <laughs> <laughs> Delivering smiles to the hearts of every moment of every day for the past six months or so. Been a good year for Brock. Br- Proudly a part of Americana and the, and family lifestyles since six months ago. <laughs> What are your thoughts on this? You look like a Steve put two of the candy corns on his canine teeth, so he looks like a um You look like okay, if a a beaver had a puppet show on TV <laughs> and this was the Halloween episode, they dressed him up like a like a Dracula. That's beaver. what that looked like? Yes. <clears throat> Did you see me eat my teeth? <laughs> Mommy, on... did you see me eat my teeth? <laughs> yes. The next episode of Weird Addictions. This guy eats his teeth. I thought you were going to say, it's another horror movie. It's just called, Did You See Me Eat My Teeth? <laughs> Truth be told, I would not watch that movie. I would. Yeah, you would. It would probably be at Fantastic, Fantastic Fest. Fest. <laughs> yeah. What would be the street name for that movie? You see, you see Teeth? No, Teeth is already like a Fantastic You see Mommy Fest. Teeth? Mommy Ate My Teeth? You see mommy see my teeth too? <laughs> Shit's crazy, man. Mommy, look at this. Shit. It's 511. You should do another sponsor spot. Okay. This episode is brought to you by 3DDDVD R2D2DVD.blu-ray.hddvd.com. iTunes. And of course that coupon code again in, in case you're interested. Fifty for fifty percent off. Fifty guys, gotta use that coupon code at checkout, which is again. That's b b b lowercase b lowercase b b b b fifty. That's seventeen b's and I b b b b b b b b b b b. Wish I could do next sponsor. Do I need to set it up? Absolutely, hundred percent. We got to call Whitney at HeadGum. No one will let us. No, they absolutely will No one will won't. let us. They don't want to confuse people with the promo code. 17 b is 50 for 50% <laughs> off. What's so confusing about that? Hey, B, 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 B. No, I just want to, I don't want to specify how many B's there are. <laughs> I just want to go. If you guys want twenty five percent off at the checkout, type in a b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b. Thanks for listening, guys. See you next time. You know what would be a funny title for this podcast? What? This one's also about bees, but not the way you think. E. T. the extraterrestrial mm-hmm. is the most redundant title for a movie ever. Because <laughs> yeah. it basically breaks down to Extraterrestrial the Extraterrestrial. <laughs> <laughs> which brings me to the point, which is the name of the character yeah. is Extraterrestrial. That would be like having a person in a movie called the person. It's like person the person. Yeah. That's the equivalent of that. Yeah. Man the man. Right. Extraterrestrial, the extraterrestrial. Worst wrestler nickname ever, by the way. Hailing, uh, weighing in at 330 pounds, hailing from parts unknown, man. <laughs> the man. Man. His nickname is also the man. That's a, he's earned it. Man, the man, man. Man. His first the name. The man. Man. <laughs> man. Dun, 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 dun. And he comes right? out and he's wearing a business suit. <laughs> hey guys, he just looks like the guy on the bathroom sign. <laughs> Everyone was like, why the fuck are you seeing cats? Uh-huh. And I was like, well, fucking wait, Bree said, let's see it. And I've never seen it. 
And I, that's that. That's all I needed. I didn't yeah. want to like, I mean, also School of Rock was playing and also Phantom of the Opera. Same theater, same stage. Same theater, same stage. And uh, just different times. Um, <laughs> one switched. was after the other. We tried to stay. They kicked us out. Bottom line. <laughs> but? But we were able to listen through a thin door. <laughs> Which was well worth the price of standing outside the door. And by the way, The Thin Door is another production playing next door to the theater playing Cats, School of Rock, and Phantom of the Opera. The Thin Door. <laughs> we open on a seascape. Can I maybe finish the rest of the story for you? Go ahead, baby. Were you sitting in these seats saying, they're saying genitals, right? <laughs> Genitals and genitals can and genitals and genitals do. This is the most sex positive song that there is. It's not. It's not a good song, Mike. It's a great song. I don't think it's a good song. You're using the song to teach grade school kids about sexual health. They're teaching people about jellical cats, and at the end of the day, it is absolute gibberish. Genital cats in a janitor ball. Janitor's closet, janitor's hall. <laughs> Mike, I don't want Donald Duck to be president. He's not. <laughs> He's not. I promise he's not. I don't even think he's running. I don't even want Donald Duck in the White House. (laughs) I don't want him in the White House. (laughs) Think of the big mess Donald Duck would do have in the White House. If you had your choice between Hillary Clinton and Donald Duck, Donald Trump and Donald Duck. Who's Donald Trump? He's... I don't know. I don't want to. Uh, yes, and. All these people supporting Donald Duck online, <laughs> I'm sick of it. <laughs> so uh, sick of it. Yeah. Everyone supporting Donald Duck. <laughs> what have you thought this whole time? <laughs> you thought that was the case. Donald Duck for president. <laughs> Donald this, Donald that. Make America great again. I don't even understand how a cartoon can run for president. <laughs> Donald Duck on the news again the other day proposing everyone jump into their own pile of coins. According to the news, a secret tape uh, came out of Donald Duck grabbing a pussy. (laughs) Do you remember when Donald Donald Duck did that? (laughs) Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, it was a weird election. It was a weird. It was a, it weird, was time. a weird election. It yeah. was like that Paula Abdul video. Well, thank God it's over. <laughs> <laughs> two steps forward, and two, two steps, steps back. <laughs> we go together, and I'm so, so, I'm so, 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 no, you're right. The first time, I'm so, so, so. <laughs> Oh, see, that's the kind of shit you need in there. We've never had a duck president. <laughs> that's what really the only reason what about why. about Howard like... Taft, duck? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even remember who you vote for him? You didn't even remember voting for him? <laughs> I don't even want this. The ducks need a president too, I guess. (laughs) They need a role model. Right. I want a friend who's a cartoon. Would you replace me on the podcast with a cartoon, buddy? No, but I would very much be into the idea of having it be a co-host. If Foghorn Leghorn was real and he was interested in taking my spot for the podcast, would you let him? 
No, he's too big. I'm and scared racist. of him. Kind of racist, right? He's a little racist. <laughs> yeah, watch his, his mouth. Plus, I can't handle his speech impediment, his stutter. Yeah. The podcast. He'd be, be like, "Well, hell, I love that ET over there." I said, "I said, I said, I love that ET." <laughs> I said, "Thanks, Foghorn." Um, I said, "Yeah, I heard what you said." In fact, we all know what you said. Hey, Foghorn, you want to? Um, should we kick it to like a history road or? Well, something? of course. Yeah, go. I'm going to read this history road. Well, I, said, usually... I said, I said, I said, I said, I said. <laughs> Steve's the one who usually reads the, the history roads. Maybe we should let him take. Oh, I insist. Let me read these history roads. I said, 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 I said. Foghorn, why don't you take care of the sponsor for this week? <laughs> This episode of Dynamic Banter is brought to you by Harry's I Said, I Said, I Said, I Said, I Said, I Said, Razors. Don't forget to type in the promo code at the end. B, 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 I Said, I Said, I Said, B, 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 I Said, I Said, I Said, I Said, I Said. Oh, God. Maybe he would be a better host. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want Donald Duck to be president. I feel like I can't handle that. Foghorn Leghorn would work at NPR. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the calm announcements at the end. This we this uh, summer these summer grapes organic summer grapes <laughs> I said are coming. <laughs> it's five past the hour. I said, I said. <laughs> oh, God. Coming up, we have some select poems from I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said. I said, I said. I thought if you lived above someone, you can't have hardwood floors in an apartment. Is that true? I thought so. I thought I heard <clears throat> that recently. Wow. If I that's true, that. I'm going to take this guy to the courthouse. Show him around. <laughs> Ask if he's been to the L.A. courthouse recently. Pa- park his car for him. Could be tough. I'll park his car for him. <laughs> I don't mind it. I'm going to take this guy down to the courthouse. Hey, buddy, you and I, Show we should go the to the courthouse. <laughs> what if I knocked on his door and was like, <laughs> hey, buddy, get in the car. We're going to the courthouse. <laughs> I don't like those sounds you're making. <laughs> Are we getting married? <laughs> I'm going to run away with you. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the courthouse. It has a thing where you can go down into the uh, shark cage. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Dude, With it's like great. virtual sharks or yeah. like video of Real sharks. ones come <laughs> in your room. Into the apartment. It's virtual sharks. It's digital sharks. <laughs> what if you took the mask off? You were in the shark age. And there's and a real mask shark. Off, and there's a real shark, but like dead. It's dying because it's not underwater. <laughs> it's like, put the helmet back on. I'd be like, this is not a good game. No. I don't want to uh, kill a shark. I thought this was virtual reality. Not real reality. Not regular reality. Not real reality. I like smelling laundry lint. Yeah, smelling nice. That's where lint chocolates. A lot of them have that inside. Did you Did you know that? Are you saying lint chocolate? <laughs> yes. <It's> Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sweetest of all the candies. <laughs> it's some of the sweetest milk chocolate you'll ever have. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> this tea's too sweet. It might be the most Swedish coffee I've ever had. <laughs> you open the curtain, gorilla position. And you can open the it. curtain? Yeah, 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 with your hands. And then you walk through, and everyone boos, because you're not maybe as built as they remember you being. And then you slam your legs into the coffee table and fall over it <laughs> onto the ground. And you're alone, so no one hears your <laughs> cries for help. <laughs> You can't get the helmet off. And you broke a lot of stuff. You broke most of your stuff. 
<laughs> destroyed collectibles that were on the table. Yeah. You also had a drink there that is now pouring onto the carpet. <laughs> you can't see it. It's all over the the sticky the sticky stubborn soda is just spilling on every cable you have. And then the worst part is you're just staring at your friend right in his face. And then a whole ghost family is there to laugh at you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next thing you know, the ghost family shows up. Oh, Jonathan Ghost? <laughs> John Jonathan ghost. ghost and his lovely wife, Barbara. Barbara Ghost. <laughs> Little Andrew and <laughs> Stephanie Ghost. <laughs> Here's one more quick bonus history road from Jim Bradkey. Jim Bradkey sounds like an old high school football coach. Or just a football player. Yeah. Number 42, Jim Bradkey coming up. <laughs> Bradkey having a hell of a year. <laughs> All what, state. you going with Bradkey? Oh, come on! Is that guy in the commentator booth? <laughs> no, it's like... <laughs> Who is a, that guy? It's like fantasy football. Oh, and someone uh, else chose, Brad, chose Bradkey. You starting Bradkey <laughs> against the, the Raiders? Oh, you want to talk all-time best linebackers. You got to talk Bradkey. Brad, he's in a conversation. <laughs> All-time greatest player's named Brad Key. He's the, he's up there. <laughs> Top one. Jim Brad Key, uh <laughs> the subject line says, question. Please don't make fun of my name. For the next podcast. <laughs> Please subject leave lines. my football <laughs> lineage alone. Please. Despite the fact that I'm a famous football boy. Jim, never give up. Once a Bradkey, always a Bradkey. Got to live up to the Bradkey name. Can't leave that bur- the old Bradkey out in the dark. You leave the Bradkey out in the dark. Here comes Mike and Steve. You did not the Bradkey name live on. Actually, I did end up going down the rabbit hole with Doggy Leg. Yeah. And um, later on at the office, I was talking to Owen about it, and Owen's like, it's a golf term. Yeah. I was like, show me this fucking bullshit. And there is a golf term called dog leg. Any golf course that turns <laughs> dog is leg. It's called dog leg. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Because dog legs turn. So do human ones. Yeah, but dog legs turn more erratically. What about squirrel leg? Squirrel or, leg. Or deer leg. Squirrel leg's tiny compared to dog leg. Have Almost you ever all heard leg. Squirrel, squirrel leg's latest track? Squirrel he eggs? He does the... <laughs> you wait for the drop on a squirrel egg. <laughs> squirrel crow? <laughs> Two animals, one folk singer? Squirrel crow would be in Zootopia. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Rob was like... Who are we waiting for? What's going on right now? And I was like, oh, Mike's coming right now. And he's like, yeah, you know what? Let's just go up inside and we'll eat because I'm hungry and that, and then we'll do that. And I was like, well, you know, the thing with Mike is, is that he likes to use the creepy gate. Creepy G. He uses the creepy G. So, like, it's just easier if we wait out here for a bit and then we'll just all go up together. And he's like, don't you have a buzz in? Can't you buzz him in? And I was like... Well, actually, yes, I do have a buzzer, and I can buzz him in yeah. from the comfort of my apartment. Right. But Mike doesn't like doing that. And and he was like, well, that's a bad friend. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, I, I don't think it is. It's just a preference thing. And he's like, that is a bad friend. <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to say a couple things. All right, go for One, it. One, there's a reason why... We avoid that side of the building. There is a reason. A Two, very good reason. And then there's the whole thing like, would I do it for you? And that's a hypothetical because we've never been in that situation. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course. Of course. A thousand percent. <laughs> of course. So to jump right to. He's a bad friend. That's a bad friend. <laughs> it makes me wish I didn't laugh at it. any of his jokes <laughs> last night. Any of his perfect, well-timed <laughs> jokes. I gave up all those laughs willingly. <laughs> Belly laughs. Hard. It was quiet as I traveled down the nighttime streets of a little place called Weston Supermare in England. It also says, feel free to read the rest of this in a British accent. Oh, yeah. Oh, I so do enjoy it. (laughs) 
The orange-yellow street lights blasted me as I passed beneath them, as though they were trying to combat the bitter cold biting at my skin. Hold on. Do it. Do it better. Do it better. There were no vehicles thundering down the road. Perhaps they had all gotten lost someplace else. In it. There it is. Perhaps they were traveling down their own history road. I don't know. I wasn't in the vehicle with them, so don't even ask me where they all were. Okay? Internet. Of course, even though I hadn't seen a car in about 15 or 20 minutes, I looked up and down the street to make sure. Still, it was clear. I gleefully made it across to the other side of the street when the first person I had seen since leaving my place of work jumbled out of my destination. man he was, tall and slender, with a set of clothes that would be present on a police officer. But right away, I knew this man was not one of theirs. I knew without a doubt, even from 40 feet away, that his outfit was a filthy real. It was clearly an offensive deal. Moreover, I noticed something that concerned me. There are some celebrities that are household names, Mm -hmm. for better or for worse. Bob Saget. Arguably household names, like a Bob Saget. And did you know that we are pronouncing their names incorrectly? Bob like Saget's bad. name is not Bob Saget. It's Bob Chazet. <laughs> Bob Chazet. Bob Saget. <laughs> Bob Saget. <laughs> Jennifer Lau Hewi. <laughs> no. Like, you know, um, this name, I'm going to be very surprised if you know this name. <laughs> Catherine Auger. <laughs> Do you know John Lithgow? Yeah. Great. Okay, so you know John Lithgow. Of course. We have at all, <laughs> every one of us, been saying his name wrong forever. Yeah. His name is Eric DuBarge. <laughs> <laughs> his name is Christina Plummer. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. One person says John Lithgow, and that shit really catches fire. For those of you at home, or not at home... Yeah, but you are listening to this. Right now. Go home before this next Go part. home to listen to this part. We'll wait. <laughs> you pa- home? <laughs> just, pa- <laughs> just pause it. Pause the podcast right now. Yeah, go to anyone's home. And then hit play when you're in anyone's <laughs> home. <laughs> go into the closest home. <laughs> And hit pars. <laughs> quickly go into the <laughs> quickly and and excitedly enter the nearest <laughs> home. Owen and I came up with a production company called the Crimble or Crimble Family. Pro- oh no! Now I'm gonna fuck it up. And he's not here to say. It's like either. Crimble Family Productions, right? <laughs> And it is it is made up of the Crimble family. No, no, no. The entire yeah, yeah. I'm doing this right. Yeah, yeah. It's made up of the ent- of the entire Crimble family. Works for the so production Jonathan company. Crimble, ba- uh, Jane Crimble, <laughs> and the the Crimble family Crimble family productions. Yeah. Produced a movie directed, directed by, by <laughs> a man named Cr- Cr- Crimble families. First name Crimble, <laughs> last name Families. <laughs> I tried to explain that to somebody once, and I was crying too hard and not doing it correctly at all. So they were like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a weird conversation to have the first time we hang out. So it's a Crimble Families movie. Crimble, Crimble Families. Crimble families. Cr- Crimble Family Pictures presents a Crimble Family <laughs> Two different people. So anyway, um, so Owen and I love name bits, and one of another one we came up with was uh, 
a f- uh, it was like a French woman <laughs> named J- Jumin Frau Klaus up. <laughs> and, <it's- laughs> and when she appears on screen, the camera zooms in <laughs> so fast into her face. And she goes, dun dun! Like she looks to the camera with her eye wide open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoom in Frau Klaus up! <laughs> <laughs> She's like Jason Derulo. She just screams her name. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Makes money. Um, so the other day, we had a really good one in Austin when we were at Fantastic Fest. Yeah. And I forgot what it was. Was it Austin Fantastic? <laughs> no. It was an Uber driver <laughs> named... <laughs> Ari v- Ari Ving now. <laughs> Ari Ving now. Hey Steve, it's Ari. I'm about to pull up. <laughs> you check your app. I should say that about twice. <laughs> And then Lon, Lon, our great writer friend who's hilarious, he works for Screen Junkies, he uh, he said he's got a brother named Lee. <laughs> Same middle name. Same middle name. <laughs> Leaving now. I just so happen to host a certain way, and it's weird and unconventional and polarizing. <laughs> And um, and the number one characteristic you <laughs> yeah. want out of a host, yeah, polarizing. <laughs> like my, <laughs> I that should be my Twitter profile. The most, most the world's most polarizing host. <laughs> but I um, I don't like doing it because when I go to host for people, when people go like, oh, this guy's got a hundred billion followers or whatever, this guy's got this many, all of them will watch this. Yeah, they'll watch this, and I go and do it, and they pay, which is nice. Mm -hmm. it's always like okay so I'm gonna do it like this and I'll go like hey I'm Steve Zaragoza boy it smells like farts in here can't wait (laughs) to bring in the first guest and they'll be like and cut oh my god that was great but love your energy love your look you are so funny cut out the fart joke (laughs) this time (laughs) if we could do it without everything that makes you happy about being here (laughs) cut out everything about you yeah and just be a puppet that is being puppeted by our studio supervisors. Yeah. And don't say anything else. <laughs> no, Stick don't. to the script and don't talk about anything else. I don't even go on Facebook because of it. I've never felt less that's, white in you my know, entire that's life. That's funny. You don't, I've never you don't disassociated Facebook, yeah. myself with white people so much. Over the past couple of months, I've been like, I'm Italian. <laughs> I'm brownish and I'm <laughs> Italian and I'm nothing like all these white people. Wow, shit. I love it. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, there's one white guy right now. Be like, fuck you, you white. <laughs> um, I thought you guys were great. Now you're not funny no more. Talk about that ET and Andreas. Throw it over to that other white guy, Steve Zaragoza. Um, At least there's one white guy on this podcast. <laughs> Steve Zaragoza is still proud of me. What? Yeah. Going to Delaware. You're doing pumpkin chunking. For pumpkin chunking. Yeah. I'm jealous. Really, you're jealous? Very I'm, much I'm, so. I'm like right on the fence. Delaware's new Hollywood. Well, <laughs> don't say that. Because everyone I talk to about Delaware says, why are you going to Delaware? When I tell people I'm going to Delaware, they reacted the same way as when I said I'm going to see cats in New York. Delaware's what Austin, <laughs> Texas was 150 years ago. <laughs> Keep Delaware weird. It's, it's Delaware up in a, about 150 years. <laughs> Delaware was weird in the 1800s. Yeah. <laughs> Delaware weird. <laughs> that would have been great. First Portland. I do like not seeing each other for days on end. And yes, doing it's nice. This. I think it makes it better. It's like when you don't masturbate for three days because of busyness, and then you do it, and it feels so good. You ever forget that it's an option? I do forget it's an option. Like, I'm about to go to bed, but I feel like I could do something, something else. Something, I have a little bit of time before I go to bed. Do I do laundry again? Maybe I could do laundry again. <laughs> like, oh yeah, masturbating. <laughs> I forgot about that. Dude, I... I uh, there's something going on with my iPod mm. where it's playing everything I've ever downloaded mm-hmm. uh, rather than what's just on the phone. Well, you know what your problem is. I don't think I have a problem. It's glorious. No, the problem is is that you're using an iPod. iPod. That's the one. <laughs> I've been making calls on it. Uh, you're trying to make calls on an iPod. I, Siri, call mom. 
Mom's birthday. Remind. Set a reminder. iPod. Call Siri. <laughs> iPod. <laughs> Where's Siri? I. Uh, and uh, I was listening to an old Louis C.K. record, mm-hmm. and he said something to the effect of, uh, "He needs to come every day." <laughs> And he said, I started when I was 12 and I haven't skipped a day. (laughs) He was like, I love it. I need to do it every day. That's so good. I wonder if that's an OCD thing. (laughs) Like, oh shit, I haven't jizzed. I'll be right back. I didn't turn the stove off, but that's secondary. (laughs) Flip the light switch four times and (laughs) masturbate. Now I can go to work. I have to flip my wiener around four <laughs> times. <laughs> Helicopter wiener three times. Jerk off and light switch four times. Now I can go to work. Hump the wall, hump the wall, hump the wall, and it's bedtime. Open, close, fridge, and back to work. <laughs> Thanks for listening, and we'll see you again. We will hear you next time. I'm talk- I'll talk to you. When I when we decided to talk about it, but as for now, see you. Our voices will once again be heard for, from you. One more. I'll take a stab at it. And if you're around the next time we do this, then make sure you are. If you've got a minute, next time you hear us, you'll enjoy it. It's about it. Tonight.